Good morning, Chris Gethin here. I am the co-founder of Caged, and uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about optimizing your health, especially for those of you that are maybe in your 40s, in your 50s, but mostly for those of you like me that are in your 40s. I'm 48 years old this year. My biological age has come back at 26 years old as my most recent biological age test that I do through a company called Glycan Age, or there's another company out there called Teller Years. There's various ways that you can test your biological age. Now, some of the things that I do are combined with ancestral wisdom and using today's technology as well, biohacking, if you will. But I try to stick to the foundational things uh, as our ancestors would have done. Uh, some of it may seem a little woo-woo. However, it seems to be working for me because I quantify everything. I, I use today's technology to uh, quantify my blood sugar response. Sometimes I wear a 24-hour blood glucose monitor. I check my heart rate variability, my HRV, using uh, my Aura Ring. I do a lot of quantification through my blood reports that I get every six months to see and my uh, biological age test in the sea if I'm able to reduce inflammatory markers and optimize my health. And one of the things that I do every single day, dependent on the weather, is earth myself. So what I'm doing, I've got my shoes and socks off. I'm grounding myself with the earth. We are all electrical beings. The earth is electrical. Uh, much like an antioxidant can ha help with a cell, some of the research points towards uh, these electrical negative eons that we get to the earth can help our body reset and repair itself to a certain degree. There's been some studies that have been um, that have been conducted, smaller studies, uh, to show that it can help with emotional stress. It can help with muscle pain after exercise. It can help with blood flow. There's a great movie out there called Earthing. Earthing the movie. I think you can see it on uh, on YouTube maybe. And one of my previous podcast hosts, Clint Ober, talks about so many of these benefits if you want some more detail. But what I like to do is come outside. I'll usually meditate at this time for about 10 to 15 minutes, earth myself at sunrise so I can get the restorative red rays from the sun and maybe at sunset as well. I try to stay away from the harsh light in the middle of the day, I try to get the restorative red light. So I'm earthing myself here, shoes and socks off, con conducting and connecting through the grass, but that isn't always applicable because of the harsh winters here in Idaho and when I'm traveling. So I'm about to travel, I'm gonna go through a lot of x-rays, I'm gonna be up on a plane, I'm gonna be penetrated with EMFs and Wi-Fi. So I try to earth myself as soon as I land. Now, I, I have, do have some shoes, I've got them packed, I don't have them with me, uh, that are earthing, earthing shoes. But what I'll do a lot of the time, because I'm gonna be put into a hotel in London, I'll have one of these earthing mats, okay? It's an earthing mat. I believe I got this from earthing.com, I believe. So I'll have this at my desk, usually in the house, and I'll have my feet on here all the time, or sometimes I'll actually put it in my bed. It just requires this to plug in, so it earths, so you can earth yourself. You may have to get an adapter, depending on the country that you're in. So you are constantly being earthed. You wanna make sure that the plug that you have in the house uh, or the socket does is earthed as well. So, you know, you, that's what I mean, using today's technology with, um, with our ancestral wisdom. So I suggest that you do this on a daily basis um, for about five, 10 minutes. And especially if you're exposed to a lot of EMFs, a lot of Wi-Fi, um, I do like to have constant uh, connectivity at all times because if you actually show, you can get these, um, these meters online, you can show if you are holding a phone and then this meter, um, you can see your EMFs that are penetrating right into you. But if you earth yourself, the meter goes down because it runs through you into the earth. So I always like to uh, try to defend myself and mitigate a lot of the damage that we could potentially be getting 
from EMFs and Wi-Fi by Earthing. Give it a shot.